doing? Good morning, everybody. Everybody had a great uh, weekend so far. Me. Uh, oh, <clears throat> I'm up at uh, five in the morning. There's no apparent reason. Uh, bed early last night for no apparent reason. <laughs> so instead of just sitting here watching TV and dozing back off and sleeping more, I decided to get out here. So here we are. So we're running a um, <clears throat> rock train this morning. Last night we brought it up from Moncrief Yard all the way to uh, Waycross. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do a power swap morning we're running three uh, running a SD70 ACE uh, got a AC44-9 and another SD70 there and the reason for this is because we're gonna be climbing a bunch of hills with this rock but we're running empty right now that's the good news and uh, believe it or not if I don't if I don't get everything correct here it's not going to be a successful run so switches are where they're supposed to be this morning. May have to get in and out. Still trying to get my first cup of coffee in me. So bear with me here. <laughs> so we're over, like I said, we're in Waycross right now. And, um, Try to get out here in this rain. It's just been nasty out here. It's been nasty here. We got close to two inches of the rain. We we really needed it too. So tired of the uh, dry. Basically panning out the water on my own. <laughs> I know how the folks did it back in the olden days now. I don't, you know, going to get water and stuff. So, really got to pay attention here in this yard. Um, very large yard. And it's easily, very easy to screw something up here. So, the train that uh, I'm going to get is up here on the Jessup sub and we've got to be up there at Junction City by 7.30, 7.45. I am playing online this morning with other players. Typical run. Track speeds fifteen miles per hour. I did hear them say the train is ready. thing about this yard here it's very well lit indeed night operations here too Ready? 
one cool thing about this is that if there's any hint of any weather anywhere with this low pressure system coming in, it's been uh, raining just about all over the southeast. And personally, I like it when it rains in the sim and just gives it that uh, always enjoyed going to work in the mornings when it was raining for some reason. rock right there. Oh my boy. A lot of rock. This one that is actually supposed to go to Taft or Moncrep. MIDU, MIDU. So that's actually got to go to uh, Moncrev. It hasn't even been, um, it's in the receiving, so it hasn't even went through the hump yet. One of these days I'm going to do, do a uh, stream of uh, working the yard, completely just yard work. I tried to do that the other day, but they've got a special dude that does it in these, um, like he's always doing hard, he likes it, I guess. Surprised I actually got this route. Seems I get stuck doing locals. So it's 4.54 in the morning right now, and it's 4.54 in the simulator, give or take time. My chair broke yesterday too, so I had to uh, snatch a chair from uh, another area of the house. So. I've got one downstairs, I just need to bring it up here. probably do that. It's a roll around or two. And it's real comfortable. It take much to get this thing. All these white lights are basically telling me I'm good to go. Get over here and snatch my other coffee here. And it's not hot coffee either. This one, I drink a hot cup of coffee a little bit ago, and uh, now I'm drinking these uh, cold brews in a can. Pretty good. Well, they're monsters. There's zero sugar and they, they taste good I don't know there's something about the zero sugar the coffees don't taste as good as the other zero sugar stuff like they make the energy drinks and all that stuff so I'm sitting on this well we are almost to where we need to be and um Got all my tags up this morning. Not really familiar with this yard that well and the track, so. I have to stop right up here, it looks like. Do not have a green indicator. walking. Let's see what this paper says. 
Yeah, I write everything down because <laughs> I'll forget it. Yeah, Jenkins. Jenkins and East Way Cross, A and D. Uh, a and 587. So, put there. Good there. Good there. We just need. It's here. One of the two. I'm mistaken. I think it's this. Let's see here. The yes, screen. There's our train. So we need this and this. We need to cross over to this. There we go. And let's see if we're good. No. We are not good. We'll run right into our train up here. We need to get on J2. That's so J2. Sorry, it's thinking we need to be. We need to get this switch going here. Let's go back over here and see. There's A2. Oh, we're up here. Okay. us right here. Trying to send us up to end up two here. There, we'll stop right here. I know that, buddy. Right here. Uh huh. Gen one. Boom, 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 boom. This is not us right here, this is software drop. There we go. Alright, so back in the locomotive here.
Hard to see in the dark here. Ah, pass it up. Yeah, we're good. how to get their audio to come over this. I should have left the light on. From what I understand, we're going to have to just basically pull in here. I gotta do all this myself. It's my fan in here. Alright, so there we are. Good. Let's go unhitch our train. God, he should have. Where is this thing? I guess this is it right here. Yeah. Can't see nothing. Jeez. Ah, there we go. So you can see mine up there. Yeah, here we are. Alright. Well, hello, ghost train. Alright, so let's go ahead and. See why they wanted to do a power swap now. They got two forty fours on a rock green. Man, that's sufficient for an unloaded train. 
Definitely you don't want to run that up if it's your loaded. We're gonna have to have help coming back. I think they said there was uh, some help up there in the yard. I gotta get. All right, so let's get these get into this one here. Wipers on first. I'm just going to take it up here and then I'm going to send it over to Waycross. This light speed limit is going to be 10. I'm going to park it right here, get her sent on to Waycross. What is their symbol here? I know mine's K710. There's a way to do this. I mean, I'm still learning this. Uh, destination tag. I didn't notice it needed sand. Right, buddy we'll see you later big homie he's going to track b40 so get back to my chugga chugga
switch is lined up again. Serviced. Probably regret getting up this early. Hopefully, you run a roost today. <clears throat> I have to have a lot of caffeine. I'll go hit up my local dealer for some speed. <laughs> that would be fun. I don't do drugs. But you classify caffeine as a drug. Alright, so let's go get our Chi Chi train. Thank <laughs> you. 
slow this morning getting my stuff. But, and we're backed up. Look at all this right here. One, two, waiting on me to get ready. And then we're going to head up to Fitzgerald. It's hard to really do this stuff at night. I mean, you can't see. I guess that's part of it, but... Um, once we get hooked up to this, we'll be hanging a, a right right here. Well, a left, our left right now. We'll be going right. I'll tell you what, it's hard to believe Memorial Day is here. And it's shocking to me to... Because a lot of people don't... <laughs> they get Memorial Day and Veterans Day next time. They mean well. Train track speed is 70 wide with creek. Okay, 710 in route, pick up a cut of cars. got my headset to where you guys can hear me go through, but none of the audio that comes through, that is.
car. Then on down, get the wipers. K710 requesting departure from Hope Point NA588 confirmed. Let's break. God, I got a new horn I wanted to try out. If
get over here and yeah, it looks like we're going the way I want to go. Once we get the get up there to Junction City, I'm gonna take basically. I think there's someone gonna take the cars in there and bring them out to me. I'm not sure, but. Uh, I know according to the paper here, we've got a cut of 77 cars coming back with us. The thing it is, I don't see them on the uh, DS map. can't get over this horn, man. Crazy man. Go back to change it. A three, two. Oh god. So it's like, gotta okay, get used to it, kind of thing. Don't need much of this. It's like, I'm waiting to see, like, everything in front of me just lay over when I hit it. Blow things over, kind of thing. <laughs> Definitely going to be using a lot through here. No, oh, I can't keep doing that. It just sounds like I'm in a space space invader. Again. Try this one here. Nope. Yeah, I'll use that one. This rain is just not going to let up. I was hoping it would. saw something over my shoulder. I'm just not happy with any of my horns. This one's okay. Yeah, we'll keep 
keep that one. I don't know, man. It's just like I like it, but I don't. We'll just keep it. It means business. I've got a certain way that I uh, signal, and it doesn't sound right. So I'm gonna have to find another signal pattern. Got the green all the way up the pits, Gerald. Oh, this drill's packed. It's gonna take us a while to get there. Gee whiz, we gotta go all the way up here. Where's Junction City? Right there. I think our help is at Oglethorpe. I think. By the time we get there, it should be daylight. I'm already starting to see the sun peek over the clouds here. Man, my wife cooked a heck of a meal last night. I think that's what put me to sleep. I don't know, she makes this stuff called SOS. It's not that on a shingle hamburger, ground beef, and she makes gravy out of the, the ground beef grease with the ground beef in it, and she'll take it and pour it over rice and bread every on the biscuits. I ate that last night. A whole jumbo extra large tomato. And after I ate that, I was ready to just say goodnight. I didn't feel good last night anyway. They have my one of my spells where I just don't feel good. sugars up this morning. I, have to I hadn't checked it yet. It's probably to check it probably be about 300 thirsty. That's my indicator. That's my service engine soon light when I get really thirsty I know I need to do some maintenance. One of these days I get in here and run an intermodal. I like running those, those fast trains. You can go 70 mile an hour now.
not sure we might be able to do 70 in this. Considering we were only doing 50 of the A-line. and scream at everybody now. I think it should be called the T-Rex. NSF 901 that is my number and I was using my destination tag. It's president to call me out on that. Oh boy. I guess it don't matter, I'm moving. Welcome. What happened? Let's go look.
lights on for a minute. Well, we're not derailed. But we will do for thing. Times it's a flu. much pressure in the main. So we're gonna sit here for a minute, let the flow move around. Kinda cheated a little bit. blows again. I don't know what to do. Usually a PCS, open PC, PCS is your uh, hose line. Um, decouplers. It feels weird. I'm, I'm going to have to check something here. I may have hit some, I don't know. E-stop, I may have hit the e-stop button, I don't know. Or the parking. It's like we're okay at the moment. If it was gonna blow again, it probably would have done that already. horn is real close to the e-stop button. I may have put it in emergency. Usually when you put something in an emergency, it's going to happen. And I'll open the PCS and lock the brakes up. 50 now.
lot of AI in here. It's like five uh, active, active people. There's a kind of AI map, which is fine. AI ain't nothing. Just curious to see. Uh, looks like we got one inbound away across. Two inbound, three inbound. We got three, four, five, six, seven. Good lord, there's eight or nine inbounds way across. A couple of them look like intermodals, and they usually let them go by. Let's see. The intermodals look like they're a little bit closer to the Thompson City. Of, uh, hitting them in eventually. We'll run over a defect detector. I'm still curious to know what happened. There's no defects. Yeah, we're good. Sounds like it's screaming at you. It's angry. You are going downhill now, boys. Shaking.
Well, the sun's coming up here. Should be coming up there, too. Oh, I forgot, we're actually rainy. Looking to see it, just showing one DPU bleed. It should have another one here. Should have two of them showing that. get up these grades. Got a little bit of sand. I know we got like four or five miles of 1% uh, grade or higher. Up to here. Closer we get to uh, Junction City, that is. Now it's starting to get daylight. I can see them now. Logos are moving now.
Oh boy, here we go. Approach signal. Where'd this guy come from? <laughs> I thought we had a green all the way. Well. I can actually see outside a little bit now. Looks like we're a through and through, yeah. We're right here. So we're a through and through, so we ain't getting hindered too often much. BFE. Calibrate this throttle, man. It's like super confusing. Using this uh, new device here, it's called a rail driver. Um, honestly, I really like it. Very convenient. Uh, only problem is, is the throttle needs a little bit of. Oh, it's an NS. Hello, North Fork Southern. North Fork Southern, milepost 238.60, defect. Manifest. That one's loaded.
on me. I'm definitely the only rock rock train on this this morning. But back on this rail driver, it's got everything. It's it's probably about 13, 14 inches long by 10 inches wide. It's got all the controls that are required for the operation of the locomotive. And of course, your keyboard still comes in the bow. He's got a mix. He's got a UP in the middle. What's going on here? <laughs> but um, makes it a little bit more realistic, I should say. Puts um, it's realism in it. And they got a rear DPU. That's UP. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I saw the other day we were out with the girls. Um, we went up to Hickory around Union Square. And we came across a North Fork Southern middle the middle unit was a UP and that's the first time I've ever seen one in person and it was the ugliest UP it had graffiti on but it was still nice to see and um, it went, we chased it to the yard over at Yohama yard and it quit raining it's good we got to watch them uh, switch out cars and load and do all kinds of cool stuff and then the next day it came through again during the day with 102 cars and that that's something you just don't see every day over here anymore since covid it really slowed it down but we've been hearing rumors that it's going to be picking back up so rail planning is going to be really uh cool to be out there to they used to be 17, 18, 19 trains a day that went through there, and same at night. And uh, you were liable to see anything. And um, we found out that BNSF runs up through there a lot. Um, so be, that's another one I have never seen. So it'd be nice to be able to see that stuff. The S line is uh, part of the old Southern Railway Clinchfield kind of area. Well, not really the Clinchfield. Clinchfield CSX now. But it's down there in Lincoln, and I think they all kind of run together, to be honest with you. But, uh, it's really, really cool to know that that it may come back into play. Also heard rumors of a possible Amtrak station coming into Hickory. Don't know how true that is. It would be nice to be able to have, uh, that. Too, see some passenger stuff. It's been a long time since I've seen any of that. I grew up in Detroit, Michigan, and my my backyard was the railroad tracks. You can sit on your back porch and watch trains go by every day. One of the most active rail lines up there in Detroit, the Detroit Connecting Railroad, Delray area. And you're talking about a variety. Saw CP Rail, Canadian National, Conrail, Chessy, Seaboard, NS. Um, we saw some Union Pacifics on TV there, but never any of the KB. I can't remember the, of any as a kid, but I'm pretty sure I've seen them. Um, of 
Burlington Northern is now part of BNSF Santa Fe. I've never seen a Santa Fe uh, whatsoever as a kid or in life. So I probably have never seen one anyway. That's all BNSF. I do it's be old stock, but um, my wife, she lived out in Arizona and she saw a lot of those. The Burlington Northern I've never really seen either. I collect those in models. Got a couple of BN. I got one BN engine. It's a SD40. Need a little work, but it works. Alright, we're back to track speed. Let's go. Hopefully it won't rain too much today. We'll get that Coca-Cola 600 in. And we can grill out. I've got plans yesterday of doing that. Going out. Some steaks and some hamburgers and corn. Little girl, Ariel, she picked out the corn. She feels responsible now. She's like, uh, pick out food. It's amazing to see how much she's it's grown and she's evolving every day. Every day. She's been a blessing to me. I can't uh, tell you how blessed I am. As a father. Two beautiful daughters, and a son, another beautiful daughter. Beautiful son. Nah, I say handsome. I don't think he did like the beautiful. Oh, you're so beautiful. Yeah. I can see him now. He's handsome. <laughs> but these two little ones, man, they, uh, you know, I've, for the last 23 years, I've had a little, little one in my life, and it's gonna feel weird not to have that anymore. I know I'm gonna have. I've already got one grandbaby, Case, and I haven't seen him yet, but I'm, we're working on that, and uh, he's gonna be, he's gonna be the, the lay me down kind of guy to like bring me in. And I hope, I hope my uh, son and his wife have another one soon. Cause I got to keep it going. I don't know how. I'd, I just don't know what I would do without a little one. There is a defect detector. Let's see if we got any problems. I don't think we're going to get there before 7.30. Oh, the FX equipment defect detector, milepost 6, 0, 6, point, 0, check train, dragging equipment, axle 1, 6, 2, total axle 4, 1, 4, end of transmission. 
dragon equipment. We gotta go check that. Wow. All right. Axel two one four. The cap. Yeah. Two hundred fourteen. That's middle way. I think we are derailed. I knew something was wrong. How did we derail? Brakes are smoking. So, I'll check this. So, we'll see. So, it's midway of the train. That's why our PCS was messed up. I am very surprised it didn't mess up again. So, being derailed, dragging equipment. Usually dragging equipment, uh, from what I've experienced, is uh, derail, but I don't know. It doesn't look like any. I checked it. It was nothing derailed earlier. I don't really know. We'll just kind of have to walk through here and find it. There's a bird outside my window, so I get saying history, 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 history. I don't see anything wrong yet. Usually when you got one derailed, you can see it off the track, almost at the end of the train. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up and just, I'm going to check them all. I definitely don't see any derail, derailment here. I'm gonna try a different way. I can get a little lower this way and look. I don't see anything dragging.
I wonder why I'm going so fast. If it was derailed, it would. I would be able to tell. I just don't know what I'd be dragging. I did notice my DPUs wasn't working correctly. So I'm gonna do. Must have passed it a minute ago. I was trying to do the math in my head. We're definitely not derail. I just I I need to find exactly what it's dragging. I mean, it will tell me on here uh, fixed dragging equipment. Ah, found it. Let's get down here and see what are we dragging. Okay, we're not derailed. I don't see anything dragging. Okay. Ah. Uh, Alright, so we're ready for the road again. Ooh, nice FOV there. Alright, so. Just uh, bail on this session here. Not that I ain't gonna make it there before, so I'm gonna go over to sessions, sessions. have a great memorial day we'll uh, catch everybody later thanks for watching and um we'll catch you all after a while